Oh, oh see, if I'd have pressed the button, if I'd have pressed the button when that landed, right, it would have been, it would have been perfect. That would have been the perfect intro. So if we could just pretend, we could just pretend that that, that just went like, then there you go. That's the perfect intro right there. So, um, what was I actually going to talk about? Hi, hello. Haven't done a video here for a while. Um, there is a reason. Uh, of course, there always has to be a reason. Um, I haven't felt like myself for a while, so um, I, I've needed to kind of um, take a break from making videos. But it's it's sort of a subject I, I guess I'll talk about another time. Anyway, um, I do have videos for you, and I have so many. Like literally, there's there's been so many different ideas, so many so many different adventures I've been on. Oh, hello. Sorry, that that being my phone. Uh, <laughs> Nothing but professionalism from this page. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so there's been so many different projects and ideas and stuff that I haven't completed. Uh, I think now really is sort of the time that my phone just loves me today. Yeah, well, there you go. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> so I have some footage from the cast panel from the Doctor Who Festival. And it was really good and it's amazing. And you should watch it and I'm going to upload it. And here we go. Five people. Uh, so give them all a big round of applause as we welcome in no particular order Stephen Moffat, Woo! Oliver, Michelle Gomez, Gemma Coleman and Peter So, yeah. can, you, can you, should we know 
whether which one you know which one you're playing when we don't know which one you're well, supposed to be playing. This, this is a tricky one because I, I think I know which one I'm playing, and so I think I don't know. I'm looking at you like oh. oh. I, so I think I, I think you can tell which is which. Oh. Very well. Can you tell which is which? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> because I've been very subtle. <laughs> Um, but I think if you watch it over and over again, um, then maybe you can tell the difference. So, yes. I actually can't even remember what your question was, but I hope I've answered it. <laughs> watch it over and over again, but not more than nine times, remember. That's the same. Look, we're going to show, we're going to have some pictures um, that none of us have seen that are going to provoke some sort of memories, and then we're going to throw it over to you. But we'll, we'll get, get something visual. Uh, so we're going to see some pictures on the screen here, which you'll see up there, and whoever's involved oh, in them. Oh, I remember that day. Oh, it was right nice, wasn't it? Oh, it was lovely. <laughs> we actually got, did we get so cold we started jogging up and down those steps? We did, we did, yes, right before we started selling ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> we started, we did a bit of an exercise run together like we were best friends, and then... Like we were best friends. <laughs> 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 Like we knew our lines. Yes. <laughs> it was lovely. We were in Tenerife? Yes. We were in Tenerife right. that day. <laughs> I get confused because we filmed in Lanzarote as well, but no. that was the year before. Mm. Yes, we were. We were in Tenerife. Are we supposed to comment on these pictures? Yes. That's yes. what I've taken. Yes, absolutely. You've done things exactly as we hoped you would I caught your drift. <laughs> <laughs> and it has been duly commented upon. So let's have another one. <laughs> yes. Who's that? Uh, <laughs> Boy Davros. <laughs> Baby Davros. Ah. Uh, Not Bobby oh, Davros. Oh. <laughs> He's very good. He's excellent. <laughs> His excellent impressions. <laughs> and that was, that was quite a way to start this season, Stephen, with that, um, you know, you think it's a child in danger, you hope the doctor's going to save, you know, you, yeah. you, think, you think to see if the doctor's going to save this kid, and then yeah. suddenly, that, and keeping the fact that Davros was coming back a secret must have been an enormous uh, Yes, yes, but, but, but people play along with us to a tremendous degree, because we did, we did show the episode, and, and folk just didn't give that away. So it does, I suppose it does give that first scene a, a fair bit of impact. Also, the end of the episode where Doctor Who's going to shoot a child in the face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What other kids show does that? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, that was, I, think, I think that was a really good start. Yeah. yeah. And, and the hand lines were an extraordinary image yeah. of it. Uh, how, do those things just come to you in the night? I mean, when, when well, you... not literally. <laughs> that would be alarming. Um, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't remember. I've always asked questions of that. But you know, just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of everything, so I probably scared myself of my own hand. <laughs> <laughs> advice to somebody that wants to enter the profession? Um, I think uh, this is all very good advice to take a great interest in that. I think it's really hard when you're an actor, people so, you know, work really hard when nobody gives you a job. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard when you're unemployed and you, you can't see anything but a brick wall between you and uh, uh, being a professional actor. So I think being able to main, keep that, your sort of spirit alive and your interest alive is really important, so I think all of this advice is great. It's just really pay attention uh, and don't lose uh, hope. Thank you. Oh. And we're all the way back to number one. My name's Jermaine, and I live at England, Ginchester. Woo! Yes. Have you made any good friends? Oh. Thank you very much. Woo! Not Capaldi, and it's 
Moffat. <laughs> Not <Thank> Moffat. <laughs> um, I think, I don't know, I mean, I think I mentioned to Stephen that I, caught, that I thought it would be fun if to play guitar. Uh, I didn't know that he would take it seriously, so I was delighted uh, to, to open the script and find that he was playing the guitar. I just thought it would be fun if it was something he, you know, little the boat, you know, had one in the TARDIS or something. Uh, and the shades, I really like the shades, but I think Stephen, I, I, you, you came up with them and I'm, I'm very happy that you did. Uh, it, was, uh, it was an idea actually specific to uh, uh, the Dalek story, the obvious uh, The doctor needed to get some equipment into Davros's lab, he couldn't take his sonic screwdriver. So being doctor, he remade them as sonic sunglasses. But having got to the end of that episode, I just thought, if I was doctor, and I had some sunglasses. I'd use them for a while, especially if it annoyed Clara slightly, and especially if it was the world's daftest petition about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you read that petition? It's brilliant. Um, it's completely stupid to have sonic sunglasses. <laughs> a sonic screwdriver. <laughs> no, hang on. Don't bring back the sonic screwdriver. <laughs> that was stupid too, and kill more people. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> Sensible policies for a happier Britain. <laughs> uh, Sonic Sun, I, I also thought, just for the hell of it, you know, every kid with glasses is Doctor Who now. Yeah. You don't have to buy a Sonic screwdriver to find your mum and dad's sunglasses. An eye defect is now a superpower. What's more Doctor Who than that? Woo! <laughs> well done, Moffat. Well done. There's a kid with Sonic screwdriver. <laughs> Well, uh, we're, going, we're, we're going right to the back now as we, uh, 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 to, to number three, I think we're on three at the moment, right at the back there. Hi, I'm Brad and I'm from Manchester. Uh, my question is for Peter and Stephen. If you could bring back a monster from the classic series, which would it be and what would you have them do? We have a very long list now. Oh. So we could be here for some time. <laughs> I'm always very keen. I think there's a lot of monsters who were very, very imaginative. There were great ideas, but perhaps the, uh, the, the budget and the apparatus wasn't there to fulfill those uh, creatures as, as successfully as we can with our new technology. I'm always very taken with, and it, uh, with, with the Zabi and the Minoptra and all of these creatures, um, which... I mean, when you think about it, I mean, the idea that you would try and make a web planet populated by insects, you know, in a tiny studio in Hammersmith with no money, just some cardboard uh, and some uh, uh, imagination and some ambition, I think is wonderful. So I hate looking at all, I, I hate watching. You know, I sat and watched the whole of the web planet, and it was quite hard going, really. Um, but the worst thing was, it sort of d destroyed the image I had of them in my head. Because I saw that when it went out, as a child, and it lived in my imagination, so potently and so powerfully. So I would love to see the Zabi and the Minoptera show up again, somehow. But with our new technology, which would make them look sensational. I think one of the things, though, is what they attempt in the web planet, I apologise for all people who are not as hardcore as people with me, uh, <laughs> is, is, is still pretty difficult. I mean, God knows how they managed it there, and that, that was huge. There were no humanoid characters apart from the elite. Um, the, the classic monster that I, that I you, you, you keep looking at, how, uh, the sea devils, uh, the, uh, the design is amazing. It's an absolutely beautiful design. I never thought anything to do with it yet, but uh, I, think they're, I think they're quite extraordinary as a, as a piece of work. So maybe that, but I have got another couple in my mind, but I might be doing those, I'm not telling you. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, what's your favourite story? Yeah! Woo! Your favourite doctor is the one you've done or one you've seen, it doesn't matter, there's no rules. Uh, I loved Vincent and the Doctor, I loved that story. <laughs> Peter? <laughs> I like that Doctor Who story that starts in that junkyard and he steals all oh. his teachers away and it goes on for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Until that one they were fighting the Sandmen. Uh, oh, that's odd today. That big long story, that's my favourite. Oh. 
And it doesn't have to be one you've watched, it could be one you've been in, which was the one that you most enjoyed making. Is your, yeah, yeah, I do it both. I, I, do both. I, I, I see, I, I like all the emotional ones. I react in quite an emotional way to things. And is there anything that makes me cry, uh, which is... I mean, I can literally list them. Uh, if that's what you want. Um, <laughs> yes. I mean, all the ones, you know, like The End of Time and uh, uh, Angels Take Manhattan, I remember as well. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and the 50th, I cried... I, I cry a lot, actually. Aww. When all the doctors came on at the end, and then Peter's oh. high eyes, his eyebrows. Uh, <laughs> Peter's eyebrows. Peter's make eyebrows cry. Make, make me cry. Which, <laughs> which, which is tricky on set. It's very tricky. It, we hardly get any work done. Um, so, yeah, so that's three. Well, and uh, we know you like being diplomatic and don't like to choose a favourite, and that's. Uh, well, I can, what I'll do is I'll, cho I'll, I'll choose a favourite for this moment. Uh, and then in, in, in 10 seconds I'll have a different one. So at this moment, I just think the evil of the Daleks is amazing. Woo! We've never seen... Uh, to, to see the Doctor be in a Victorian period and suddenly have Daleks appear in, 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 in not a Victorian period dress, which would have been very interesting, uh, <laughs> but to have them show up in a Victorian setting, which of course you'll know all about now being Queen Victoria. <laughs> Well done to cast and crew.